Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to the dig site with another episode of Jurassic Park Abandoned Mysteries. But before I begin, I would just like to say that we have finally made it to 100 subscribers as well as to thank everyone for the amazing support so far throughout my channel. And with that out of the way, enjoy the video. Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 4 released on December 3rd, 2021. With this new season, a dinosaur that not many people were expecting made its first appearance in the first Season 4 trailer. This dinosaur was none other than Spinosaurus. And in my last video, I mentioned that the Spinosaurus from Camp Cretaceous was in fact not the same Spinosaurus from 2001's Jurassic Park 3. However, a commenter said that it was the same Spinosaurus. So today I will be explaining why the Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3 is not the same Spinosaurus from Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. But before we start to understand why the two Spinosaurs are different, we must understand where this Camp Cretaceous Spinosaurus came from. The Camp Cretaceous Spinosaurus is introduced on this mysterious island, and this island would later be revealed to be owned by Manticore. Manticore is a bioengineering and bionics company, somewhat like Biosyn, but it is good to know that the Manticore and Biosyn are completely different factions. However, instead of making their own prehistoric species by using their own research, Manticore sends spies to InGen and Miserani Global to steal valuable technology and intel that allows them to cut corners while making dinosaurs. So now that we know where the Spinosaurus came from, we can now break down why these two Spinosaurus are different. For starters, let's look at the obvious features while looking at these two dinosaurs, their coloration and patterns on the skin. If you put both dinosaurs side by side, you can see some major differences. Like if you look at the snout of both Spinosaurs, you can see that the Camp Cretaceous Spinosaurus has a white stripe pattern that runs on the side of the top jaw, whereas the Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3 has more of a mix between gray and red pattern. Another key difference is on the sail. You can tell that the Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3 has a mixture of blue integrated onto the sail, whereas the Camp Cretaceous Spinosaurus has more of a tan and red coloration, with the overall patterns being different for the sails. And one last thing to mention is the coloration overall of both dinosaurs, with Camp Cretaceous Spinosaurus having more tannish color to its body, whereas the Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus has a more mix of red and gray. Now, if that isn't enough to convince you that they are not the same, then look at their environment. Both Spinosaurus are bred to adapt to different environments. For example, Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus adapted to the jungle environment, which is humid and wet whereas Camp Cretaceous Spinosaurus lives in a desert environment with barely any moisture and a little to no water. And yet another thing to add to why both of these creatures are different is the way they both act. For example, we see that the Camp Cretaceous Spinosaurus uses its arms a lot while moving around, either by supporting itself or turning quickly. But if you look at the Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus, it doesn't use its arms in any way for mobility. The arms are just used as weapons. And yes, you could argue that the Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus put its hand on the defeated T-Rex after the battle, but that is because the Spinosaurus was claiming its kill by towering over it. Overall, both dinosaurs are different in terms of maneuverability, where the Camp Cretaceous Spinosaurus is a mix between bipedal and quadrupedal, whereas the Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3 is mainly seen as bipedal. Now, something to mention is that many people, including myself before this video, thought that there was only one Spinosaurus. But if you have watched my video on the Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus' whereabouts during Jurassic World Dominion, you would know where it currently is. And if you haven't watched that video yet, then you should go check it out. If you recall, I had mentioned that Manticore sent spies to InGen and Mizrani Global. So I theorized that on one of these spy missions, the Manticore spy found an interesting dinosaur being transported from Isla Sorna to Isla Nublar. This dinosaur would of course be Jurassic Park 3's Spinosaurus. And after trial and error, eventually the Manticore spy acquired a DNA sample from the dinosaur and would then send that sample to the secret Manticore island. From there, scientists on the island would use and modify the genetic code so that it would have different coloration and patterns and would be able to survive in desert biomes, successfully creating a second Spinosaurus. Out of all this evidence, it is safe to assume that these two Spinosaurus are different that being either from coloration to patterns, or being able to survive in different environments. Thank you for watching this video. Again, I would just like to say that we finally reached 100 subscribers, and I couldn't get here without any of your support. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the video, 
as well as turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my content. Thanks again for all the support so far, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day.